A chance meeting of two dads watching their kids play soccer in 1979 would turn into a lifelong business partnership and the formation of Boston Scientific, one of the world's top medical technology developers, known for providing more accessible, lower cost, and less invasive procedures to patients. John Abley and Pete Nicholas, two men with one single vision, searching for medical technology solutions to improve the lives of patients. Together, they pioneered and fostered the concept of minimally invasive treatments. And today, Boston Scientific's devices are improving, enhancing, and extending the lives of patients worldwide. John Abley and Pete Nicholas were the perfect business partners. Pete, a Wharton MBA and investor who had worked for the pharmaceutical industry, was focused on business strategy and execution. And John brought technical expertise and a focus on discovery and development of new technologies. The partnership of these two entrepreneurs enabled them to buy a small medical technology company called Meditech, which was partially owned by John Abley at the time. And from that, Boston Scientific was born. Pete and John each had their own particular skills. I might say they were very different skills, but they had their own particular skills. If I were gonna describe John, I would say that John was a technical guru. John was kind of like a walking encyclopedia for medical terms, procedures, physicians who did these procedures, what their comments were after the procedure, what they needed, but he didn't tie it to business. He just tied it to the technical side of it. On the other side of the coin, Pete was just the opposite. Pete was a deal maker at heart. He was an entrepreneur who understood business, understood how it worked. He was a financial architect where he could make pieces of the financial statements fit together where you never thought they'd fit together. When we put these, merged these skills of these two individuals, there was barely a deal that went by that they couldn't figure out some way to get it done. The company's two founders brought different talents, skill sets, and strengths to Boston Scientific. And at first, there was concern that this could be a problem for the new company. But they quickly learned that they both had the same belief in transparency, giving managers the authority to make decisions and encouraging involvement by employees of all levels while making sure each employee understood their position and how it related to the success of the company and their own individual success. John and Pete encouraged an environment that empowered middle managers to make decisions and not every decision had to be kicked upstairs to the executive offices to be made. This was very important and because they empowered the middle managers to make these decisions, it did not mean that they relieved them of the responsibility of managing. In fact, just the opposite, they held them more accountable. So with this allocation of authority came a deep responsibility for knowing what was going on and knowing why it was going on in your area of expertise all the time. Boston Scientific's first products included catheters used in gallbladder surgery making the procedures much less invasive, resulting in easier and shorter recoveries for patients, and reduced costs. Minimally invasive procedures were now possible because of new and more sophisticated imaging techniques available. First-year revenues for the company topped $2 million. In the early years, the company remained focused on catheters, expanding its line to include catheters that were used for cardiac, vascular, gastrointestinal, urological, and respiratory procedures. And through a public stock offering in 1992 and a series of strategic acquisitions along the way, Boston Scientific has evolved and expanded over the years to treat a wide range of diseases and conditions. Today I lead a major cardiac and vascular program and so my field is a very broad field. Uh, and there's not one area of patient care in the cardiovascular system that is not touched by a Boston Scientific product. An entire specialty, an entire movement developed 
called less invasive therapy, which we know today, minimally invasive therapy or image-guided therapy. And so there's virtually no part of the human body, no part of human pathology that they don't have and haven't developed products in that touch and benefit patients from the brain down to the toes uh, and all the organ systems in between. In 2004, Boston Scientific introduced the innovative drug-coated Taxis Express Stent, establishing the company as a global leader in cardiovascular medicine. Watchmen, one of the company's most recent devices, has been life-changing for indicated patients with non-valvular atrial fibrillation who are at risk of stroke. The device allows those patients to stop taking blood thinners, which can cause an increased risk of bleeding. And the company's portfolio of spinal cord stimulation systems has been a game changer for patients all over the world suffering from debilitating chronic pain. As a first responder at the Pentagon on September 11, 2001, then U.S. Army First Sergeant Justin Minyard injured his back, helping a woman trapped under fallen debris. Surgery would follow. Then, when stationed in Afghanistan, he had a two-story fall out of a helicopter. Another surgery was needed. The wear and tear of these injuries and years of combat resulted in yet another surgery. I went back to my doctor and said, I understand the physiological damage has been repaired, but this pain is something I've never experienced before. And the answer to me was uh, long-term medicine management. And that was the turning point in my life. Um, I went from being the recipient of a Bronze Star for Valor um, Purple Hearts. I was an escort for President Bush and Clinton. I was a sentinel at the Tomb of the Unknowns. I was very, very good at my job. I went from that to six months later, put on my medicine management protocol. Within six months of starting that regiment, I, 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 I had a full-blown, out-of-control addiction. I spent two years in that situation. Uh, it's the two years I'm most ashamed of. I regret every single day. This is when doctors told him about the Boston Scientific Spinal Cord Stimulator, a tiny implantable device that controls pain by blocking pain signals from the spinal cord to the brain. Almost six years later, Justin is drug-free and living life to the fullest. Boston Scientific Spinal Cord Stimulator, it, it saved my life and it saved the relationship I have with my daughter. And uh, I, uh, I'm very fortunate to have found it. Boston Scientific is committed to developing less invasive technologies to help more people in more places around the world live longer, healthier lives. But the company's patient-centered mission doesn't stop there. Through a strong sense of corporate citizenship, Boston Scientific has fostered an environment of philanthropy and giving back, which has remained the same since the company's beginnings. The same principles that guided John Abeley and Pete Nicholas as the co-founders of Boston Scientific now underlie their personal work in philanthropy. There really aren't two individuals who are more worthy of a Lifetime Achievement Award than John and Pete. Two amazing men with a shared vision of creating a company to use medical technology to change people's lives and frankly make the world a better place. And 35 years later, this company is still changing people's lives. Over 13,000 products on the market, affecting 22 million patients. Lives saved, lives changed, and a meaningful impact on our community and around the world. The company's two founders have retired, but their legacies live on in the multi-billion dollar company that Boston Scientific has grown into today 
and most importantly, the thousands of lives touched and improved by the company's many medical devices. AdvaMed celebrates the many contributions of John Abley and Pete Nicholas to the medical device industry and to patients around the world with the 2016 AdvaMed Lifetime Achievement Award.